Well, I figured it was time to do another quick uh, update video. Uh, this one will be shorter than the last one. The most obvious thing that I've done so far is I put the drop kit on it. We got a five inch drop in the front, seven inch drop in the rear. And uh, I do have a whole series of videos on uh, how I did the drop kit in the front uh, and then another series of videos about the rear. So, but like I said, it's just a, a static drop. It's a five inch drop kit uh, with a new uh, lowered spindles and then I cut the coil springs as well. So another new thing I did, I've got two new tires on here and I painted uh, two of the wheels. And so really, uh, I can afford the tires. The tires are actually pretty cheap. They're just off-brand uh, tires. I mean, they're 235, 75, R15. I'm sticking with the 15-inch uh, the steel wheels. I did get the, uh, the aluminum hubcaps. I found those on eBay. But I've got two new tires, and the reason I've, uh, I'm buying them sort of one at a time is because i got to paint the wheels. And so this wheel's been painted. I don't have the, uh, the dog dish hubcap on there, but uh, there's uh, one painted wheel there, one new tire, uh, both on the front. And here on the rear, uh, still got the old tires. These tires won't pass state inspection, and then uh, i got to uh, clean the wheels up and everything. Uh, so that's been done. And then the rear is just a flip kit. Uh, I do have a C-notch that I did quite a while ago, but I really didn't uh, need to do that. So we just got a flip kit in the rear. And then not much else has changed. I do have the spare tire mounted. This was a, uh, a series of videos that I did on how I made this uh, dimple here, this cutout in the fender. Um, so and then the, the bracket that I made there. On the inside of the truck, I have added the center console. I ordered that from LMC Truck. It's a brand new center console. Um, they only come in black and they recommend that you do not dye them or paint them. Uh, that doesn't adhere well to the type of plastic that they use there. I don't have any videos of how I put this in. It was just a real simple install. Just four bolts that come up through the floor and that's it. There's really not much to it. So, but then again, the dash is done. One thing I'd like to note is uh, it's gotten pretty warm out, crowding 100 degrees here in Dallas, Texas, and I've been driving this around, and I am not having any overheating issues. Uh, it gets up to 200, then it'll thermostat will open, the fan will come on, and it'll drop back down to 180, and it'll just uh, fluctuate between 200 and 180. Uh, so I'm really not having any troubles there, which I'm very, very happy about. And I'll show you a couple other things. You can see the truck's kind of dirty. What looks like scratches, they're not scratches. Uh, they're from the rubber hose, the, the, just the garden hose. And what I've been doing is I'll have a series of videos coming up on this, but I'm doing a Fotina paint job. And I've already, I've pretty much finished the tailgate. I did squirt some rattle can uh, gloss clear coat on that. Uh, but this was the easiest panel on the truck to remove so I took that off set it up on some saw horses and uh, practiced uh, with this panel there and then also let me climb up in the truck I've got the roof finished there's no uh, clear coat on the roof but uh, as far as the sanding I, I, I'm finished sanding on here and this is the first time I've ever, ever tried a Fotina paint job so I wanted to practice a little bit before I started making some videos. So uh, the roof is done. Now I just got to start on the rest of the truck, do the bed, the fenders, the cab, everything else. So that's just about it for this update. Uh, that's everything that I've done to the truck uh, since I did the last update video. And uh, like I said, I'll get started on that uh, Fotina paint job and I'll set up the camera on the tripod and uh, we'll shoot some film of that and uh, see if I do a good job on that. Kind of show you at least what I've learned so far. And uh, so that's that's where we are right now. I appreciate y'all watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.